Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be doing top five cosmic champions and Marvel concept champions. And this one's interesting because the cosmic class, like two or three years ago, I'd say it was like pretty trash, honestly. <laughs> one of the worst. And now, arguably, it is the strongest class in the entire game, just overall. So it's crazy that over a few years, so much has changed. But the Cosmic class is a beast class. Like, this class has a lot of heavy hitters. So it definitely was harder to make the top five list. But these top five, I think, are just titans. And I think they deserve top five easily. So, starting off with number five, we got my boy, Venom. This guy is, like, he was so bad. And they buffed him, and now he's insane. This guy... What makes him good? The, just the raw damage output on him. So basically the way he works is every 9 seconds, you get a random buff. You can either get Cruelty, Precision, Fury, Armor, Physical Resistance. To be honest, I think one thing they could have done to make him better is just cut Physical Resistance out. Because that's so useless. Armor up is actually useful, even though you might not think it is at first. You can bring in Venom, and when you heavy attack, it'll, it'll refresh your last buff, just like re-roll the dice, basically. And you can bring Venom into, oh, what's it called, Havoc matches, and get the armor buff, and then you're good. So yeah, I do think that the armor buff is good. The physical resistance is pretty trash, but what makes this guy good is his damage is insane. Like, so for hero champions, 15% bleed ability accuracy. So that's just already on top of it. Versus a hero, you're already going to be like, just doing more damage and ability accuracy is going to be going on. Another thing that makes this guy really good, Spider-Verse heroes. You verse any Spider-Man, like Simgate Spider-Man, normal Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, just any spider character, they, your attacks ignore evade. So you go into like a stun immune Spider-Man matchup, bring in Venom, he destroys the fights. They'll never evade. And then a really weird piece of utility that I don't know if it has any like many great uses, but could it one day? Tech against tech champions, you're immune to power burn and power drain. So like I figured this out first by not reading the abilities. Actually, I got special one by vision I think once, and I didn't lose power, so I was like, oh okay. And this guy at the eight, where is it? Opponents below eighteen percent, below eighteen percent health. Venom's bloodlust grants him true strike and unblockable special attacks. So this might sound useless, but you take characters like um, Iron Man Infinity War, the annoying phase under like 18% health he has. He has True Strike, so you'll never get auto-blocked. So Venom is insane, a really good counter for um, Iron Man. If you want, and then on heavy attacks, you place an armor break. And overall, this guy does crazy damage. Also on a special one, or is it? Each strike has a 55% chance to steal a buff, to like um, nullify basically, and then healing you for 5% of your total health. But if you have suicides, this will be a little bit less because of the poison. So, even though it might not seem like it, he's actually a pretty decent nullified champion. Um, I've used him against the champion before, and he he handles those furies pretty well, and you can keep him under control. So, yeah. Venom, overall, sick character. I mean, I rank 5 him, so I have no regrets. And now we move on to rank 4. So, the top 4, I'd say a lot closer. But I think my list is correct, and if you don't agree, then eh, you do you. Number four, Medusa. Medusa's damage output is like extremely high, one of the highest in the game. You get the armor shatter on with your special one, and you just you medium, medium, then special one. And your my mediums do over like ten k, like it's crazy. And basically, the way she works is she'll always have a good place in the game. Just from the fact that she's poison immune, she has fury, so she's a good counter for the um. Uh, what there's a node where you take where they inflict poison on you and you they take ninety percent less damage if they don't if you don't have fury buff. Could be acid wash. I could be wrong. That could be a different node, but whatever. She's already, already always gonna be good for that. And then her main utility is her, or is it armor shattered? When the opponent has six armor break debuffs, they are removed in place with an armor shatter. And armor break debuff for 26 seconds. So you can cycle special three of these. Normally you wouldn't be able to, but when armor shot is active, opponents can um, activate armor buffs. And if um, the shatters robot champion systems, reducing their ability accuracy and power gain by 100%. So basically, you get armor shadow on any annoying robot, and 
there are plenty of annoying robots in the game, so Medusa will definitely keep her usability for a long time. Kabam loves making making annoying um, robots, and anytime there's a robot character, bring a Medusa, she just shuts them down. Get to one special one, they're fully power locked. They have they can't trigger any of their abilities, like Ultron, for example. He won't ever evade, and he won't ever trigger his regen once it's up. And it's 26 seconds, so you can just like four combo against the wall, then backtrack, uh, backtrack, intercept. And you can easily cycle special three, and when on her special three, it, where is it? Special three is a hundred percent chance to place a armor shatter for thirty five seconds, so it's even longer. And basically, you can just special three like again and again, just keep robots locked forever. So for variant one, she's a beast. And also, her, her signature ability is signature ability gives you the furies to make her damage. But then, when struck twice, she has a certain chance, based on your sig level, to auto block. So I think at dupe level 200, I think it's 100%. So if they hit you twice, like you mess up, you get hit, and then hit again, you'll auto block. And if you're playing the game, you probably have the parry mastery. And the auto block, you parry. So it can save you from a lot of stuff. I've been saved with this before. So yeah, Medusa, overall, sick character. I mean, sick robot god. Like, any annoying robot, you just bring her in, and she'll just destroy them. So for number two, for number three, um, this champion I would say would be number two on the list. But the only thing stopping me from them at number two is well, it's Hyperion. Hyperion was gonna be number two, and I did a lot of thinking about this because he's a cosmic god. Basically, he just gets that insane power gain, and then you just parry heavy, parry heavy, and you just get those incinerates, and you do massive damage. Hyperion, one of the best characters in the game. The only thing holding him back, I would say he would definitely be number two on the list. Not number one, I don't think, but I'd definitely say number two. The problem with height that I've noticed is, well, for one, he his limit right now is five star. And what I mean by that is you can't get him as a 6-star. So, if you could get Hyperion as a 6-star, I'd probably be number 2 in the list. Because, yeah, but the fact that you can't get him as a 6-star is a rank 5 right now. We're at the point of the game where rank 5s, or like rank 3 6-stars are kind of taking over. You see, you've seen the gameplay of rank 3, like Corvus, rank 3, Nick Fury, rank 3. I don't know, just other characters, like Aegon. Like, it's at the... Well, Act 6.4 is coming out, and after that, I think rank 5s won't be used as much. It'll start being rank 6. Um, it'll be a, what's it called? Like, 6 point, uh, six six star rank 3, sorry. And, and if you think that's, like, not a good enough reason, think about Scarlet Witch. She is one of the top mystics, but the thing holding her back and people, like, stop, like, recognizing her is... You can, you can only get her as a 4-star. You can't get her as a 5-star. So her usability dropped off really hard once Act 6 came out and, like, more endgame content. So, yeah, Hyperion, well, makes this like a god, pretty much. This is Awakened ability. It makes all your buffs last longer. So you do kind of need him Awakened. Not really at a high sig, but he's immune to... He's poison immune again, and he generates Fury. So he's also good for the Acid Wash node, I think it's called. Like Medusa. And basically, this guy's damage is, like, unrivaled. Like top damage dealers in the game easily you just parry and then you heavy attack and you've like a chance on every hit of the heavy there's five hits i think in the total to get a fury these furies are massive you can build up to like around eight ten furies you drop a special too most fights are over one thing i like about hyperion is all of his specials are useful there's some characters you just want to use special too this guy's special one and each hit has a chance to put an incinerate, so he's a massive damage over time dealer. When you get a few furies, the incinerate destroys and just melts opponents. Special two has a chance for a stun, so you can special two lock. And then his passive power gain, he just gains power over time naturally with his buffs. So you can cycle a lot of specials really quickly. The power gain is extremely strong and potent. His special three gives him the cosmic charges, making his special attacks in the future a lot stronger, and then you can change it to regenerate, like you can swipe back and hold block. Basically, this guy's just a damage god who's extremely sustainable, and the fact that you can just parry heavy makes him really good for like stuff like, I think it's variant 2, or, because he's not an XL champion, he's just large, so I think he can just use heavy attacks without taking damage. So yeah, overall, Hyperion's a god. This guy is just, if he was a 6-star, he'd be number 2 in the list. But number two on the list 
it has to go to Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is a beast of a champion. I want to take the rank 5 as a 4 star and do some gameplay, but I'm kind of lazy, honestly. But what makes her insane is, well, once she's poison immune, and basically the way she works is every time you block it, you get one charge. And then every time you parry, you get two. Special one gives, I think, three or four charges, something like that. And basically what you want to do is you just want to keep the... F She's a ramp-up character, but the first fight's always the worst fight. She works extremely well with the Nick Fury synergy. And basically, once you're at 25 charges, she ignites with... Where is it? Binary Ignition. When you have 25 charges, you get five Furies. You have a massive, a massive chance to um, inflict an armor break on medium attacks. It basically, these Furies, and also if you ever awakened, her awakening ability is pretty useful. She gets an in indestructible buff for 12 seconds. So you say you bring, and she carries her charges from fight to fight. Like So if you end a fight with, like say, 23 charges, okay, you go into a fight that you think, you, sh you know, you wouldn't expect her to be good for, but if she's awakened, say it's like a um, bleed node, like, you inflict 100% um, of your health um, from bleed over 60 seconds. You get into the fight with 23 charges. You parry once, get to the 25th um, charge. You go indestructible. It um, takes off all your debuffs from you. And then the damage for those few seconds when you have binary ignition is enough to just kill most opponents. She has been seeing a little bit of a struggle to be used in 6.3 because the burst phase doesn't seem strong enough. But if you want, I urge you to watch Legacy's new video, the um, six point or not six point three, the um, map seven, I think run with the rank three Captain Marvel. He just got from Abyss. The rank three Captain Marvel, easily. She just she can shred any like she can she'll make six point three look super easy. Same thing with like other characters that like like Omega Red and stuff like that. But Captain Marvel, just the ability, the raw ability to just go into a fight and for like twelve seconds be completely indestructible. And just be able to do such a massive burst of damage. Or, like, for those 12 seconds, I rank 3 6 star. I mean, I don't think anything is living past those 12 seconds. If you play right, the special 2 is a 100% is a chance, chance to stun, I think. And um, all of her hits in binary ignition also have energy damage, like, with the hits. So, basically, most things are just dead after a special 2. And, yeah, Captain Marvel, she's a beast. Her prestige is also extremely high, so that's good. So, yeah, just... The ability to shrug off debuffs, go instructional for like 12 seconds, trigger it whenever you want, and yeah, I mean, just to be able to master my dynamic, she, put, she goes in number two. She would easily be number one if it wasn't for this god, okay? People say he's lost his ability to do higher content. That is horse shit, okay? Corvus Glaive. This guy is literally a god. I run suicides. As you can see, so if you want to run Corvus, I definitely say you should run Suicides, because without him, he's, eh, he's not that good. Or he's still amazing, but like, if you want to see full potential, you gotta use Suicides with him. Corvus, what makes this guy a god? Basically, his tr um, the fact that he can guarantee crit. So basically, every hit of his will crit, except for his first light attack, which is used for um, like his play style. So you start with 20 chargers, okay? And basically, to get the most damage out of him, you do medium light and light attack is a guaranteed non-crit so it won't take one of your charges and then medium light medium medium light medium and then you get to a special two fights are pretty much done and he has four charges you can get so these charges every time you complete them you get a massive cruelty buff so the biggest problem with corvus is just the first fight when he doesn't have a charge it's a little bit harder but now that we've seen rank three like you watch kd1's video rank three six star i mean it's just it, the little bit of struggle he was having with the new content, it's gone now. And I did the 6.4 beta. They have smaller health pools than 6.3, I'm pretty sure. So Corvus, he'll be fine for all of X6. I mean, so one of the charges is you kill a Avenger. Uh, the second one you can get is just kill a tech champion. Kill a mutant champion. And then the fourth one is if they evade or auto block, you can parry and heavy and just knock them down anyway. That's how you get the fourth charge. And basically, you just want one charge with this dude to make him a god. And the crits in this dude, also, in every parry, he has a guaranteed chance to armor break. So he's insane for, like, Red Skulls, Iron Man, Infinity War. Anyone who has, like, a crap ton of armor buffs, he just destroys them. The armor breaks are, like, strong. So you go to a Red Skull fight, say you have your charge, okay? You have one charge. It doesn't even matter. You just got one charge. Go into a Red Skull fight. This dude has 300,000 health. You parry. 
and the parry itself is one arm break, and then the five arm breaks is six. I mean, that 300 health fight is just a joke. And then when 6.3 first came out, I was fully boosted. If you boost with this guy, even at rank two, it's just, it's overkill. Most things are just dead at the, after the special two. The special, just, the amount of damage this guy produces is insane. And I feel like once we get the ability to rank four and rank five, six stars, he will have the punch. Um, he'll, have, he'll have the ability to punch high enough to do like speed runs of Realm of Legends. Like the 500 health, 500,000 health pulls will be like nothing. So Corvus Glaive, I think he's going to be a timeless champion. He was not being used as much in 6.3 because uh, it's hard to get that ramp up fight initially. But now with the introduction of Abyss, it's pretty easy to get the initial clear. You get a Cosmic and it... A year from now, it'll be a lot easier to get rank threes. A year from now, I guarantee it'll be a lot easier. You get Cosmic, you guys get rank three. That's pretty much all of Act Six easily done. And I haven't even mentioned his immunities yet. This guy is naturally immune to Cold Snap, Bleed, Shock, or Frostbite. Okay, so he is not immune to them, but he doesn't take damage from them, which makes it actually better. I think it's better for that. Basically, you run with suicides. And you go into a fight, and you go to like an Iceman fight, for example. You go into an Iceman fight with suicides. The bleed, poison, and um, frostbite will be on you. And only the uh, poison will be ticking. The other ones with the willpower will be healing you. So in the beginning of every fight, just by running suicide, you get a small heal from the bleed. If you run the willpower mastery. You also crit through block. So even if they're blocking, you can do like thousands of damage through block. And yeah, overall, Corvus is just a... He's a force of nature. This guy dominates the Cosmic class. He's amazing. There's, like, not much bad about him. I mean, it's insane how, how much he can lift. And if you run the Proxima Synergy, um, well, if you do the Evade Auto Block Charge Completion, then basically you're immune to Auto Block and Evade. So if you get, um, say you're versing a Spider-Man and he evades, you, you run the Synergy, you knock him down, get the charge, you're immune to his Evade now, and you can't Evade. Or um, Modok, immune to auto block. I mean, he's just a god. He, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like and subscribe. Tell me what your top five list would be if it was different. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.